Hi, today I wanted to revisit ear tubes again. So specifically, I wanted to talk about what do we expect after tubes are placed? When ear tubes are placed, especially for recurring ear infections, our goal is to help decrease the symptoms and make it easier for treatment overall. Ear tubes, unfortunately, will not prevent all ear infections. So an ear infection then at that time may manifest itself with having drainage and discharge that falls out of the ear. That looks a lot like snot. That's actually a good sign. That's a sign that says the tubes are actively working and that they're open. Also remember now that with having an open tube, now instead of having to use an oral antibiotic, we can first treat with a concentrated antibiotic eardrop, which goes right via that ear, and it can now go through that tube into the space behind the eardrop and actively treat that ear infection at that time. How long should we use those drops? Well, typically we would suggest around five days or for the duration of when there's drainage. What happens if that drainage goes on for more than five to seven days? At that point, we would ask you to either call your pediatrician or call us. Is there any time that we need to be worried about the discharge that's coming out of the ears? If it looks really bloody or really thick or you feel like the drops are not able to get into that space, then that's a good time to call your pediatrician or call us in our office. Most tubes will last for about a year. The eardrum is like skin, and remember that it regenerates itself and it slowly pushes that tube out. We do want to make sure that things are going well and that there's not a need for any further interventions as time goes on. So if you are considering ear tubes, or you already have ear tubes in place and have concerns or questions about that, please feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to see you here at St. Louis Children's Hospital.